Hi everyone. So now we will talk about hooks in React Native. And guys, in recent part, we covered uh, some theoretical part of uh, lifecycle methods. And maybe you are expecting some more stuff about lifecycle methods or maybe practical examples and all, right? But let's have a look on uh, hooks first. Then we will jump on practical stuff of lifecycle methods. The reason being, whenever you will use lifecycle methods in a functional component, that time you have to use hooks also. Right, so let's start with some brief history about uh, React and React Native so that you can understand hooks uh, easily and uh, you will feel more confident about React JS and React Native hooks about uh, with that. Right, so initially, when React JS uh, library and React Native framework is created, there is only one kind of component which is a class based component but many guys are not uh, okay with the class based component because they are hard to read they are we have to put more code uh, to write the class based component like render method constructor and we have to inherit the things and all right to override all of these things facebook because facebook the, is the owner of react native and react js right so they decided to make functional component as well but initially in functional component you cannot use states uh, lifecycle methods context apis and all right so uh, in react 16.8 a new feature is introduced uh, that we call hooks and that help us to uh, use state lifecycle methods and uh, uh, many other things in the functional component that was previously not possible right so now there is a no limitation of functional component we can do everything that can possible with the uh, class based component right so let me show you uh, this is the official documentation of react yeah, so hooks so, see, so here you can see that hooks are just a new feature in react 16.8 and they let us use state and other feature without writing a class so initially that is only possible with the class based component but with the help of hooks, uh, state and lifecycle methods and other features are possible uh, inside the uh, functional component also. So now the next thing is uh, what we can do with the hooks. See, uh, we can use states in lifecycle methods. We can use life, uh, states in uh, functional component. We can use lifecycle methods in functional component. We can use context API, ref, memo and much more actually that we will cover in the upcoming parts. And even we can create custom hooks also. Right. Keep in mind, functional components can use uh, hooks. You cannot use lifecycle. Uh, you cannot use hooks inside the class-based component. And this is an interview question, guys. Okay. So now you understand that whenever we will write lifecycle methods inside the functional component, we have to use hooks, right? And uh, uh, why we are not using class-based component? Because that is actually you can say that. Uh, very old thing or uh, we, we usually now we will use the only functional component in react native and react js so let's say if you have very old project uh, maybe there you can find the class based component but now nobody is actually using them and uh, one more thing so can uh, we will get videos on uh, uh, life cycle method in class component yes i will create one video for that also so that you can just get basic idea like how life cycle methods will work in the class component also so that's all for this part and guys in next part we will start with the life cycle methods theoretical uh, practical part uh, areas right so that's all thank you so much